It's not trouble, Your Majesty. You're Snow White. Stay as long as you'd like. Anything to keep you away from that wicked queen. Oh, wonderful. You must be sneezy. No. And you must be dot and grumpy and happy and bashful and sleepy. Oh, that's me. Oh, wonderful. But aren't there supposed to be seven of you? Oh, you're thinking of Dopey. He's in rehab. Rehab? <laughs>
pitch an idea. I have an idea for you guys. I'm thinking of starting a support group for daughters who look like their dads. I just think our jawline has caused us enough trauma. I think we need it. Um, I have a couple things that I was supposed to read here. Um, keep your masks on. Uh, enough said. Um, take note of the exits there, there, and there. Um, tip your waitresses. Make sure your trays are in the upright locked position and watch out for bears. So, go get you. Uh, speaking of phones, I, I kind of currently am in a toxic relationship with mobile game ads. I don't like the way that they've currently been advertising mobile games to me. I don't know if you've noticed this, but most ads, they just play the game really badly and they're like, please download this game. It's a great game. And I don't know who taught game developers weaponized incompetence, but it's working. I downloaded a color matching app because the app was like, hey, you can make purple. And the person on the ad was like putting blue and black together. And I was like, I can do it myself. I gotta do everything in this damn house. <laughs> so that's fun. That's my life. My grandma's in the front row. She's real proud of that joke, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's so good to be back. Um, this is my eighth show of Maryland Night Live. Uh, and I'm really glad to even be here, considering I, I dropped out of the OMD. I don't even really go here anymore. I just a little crazy. Oh, what? You don't even go here? Uh, yeah, no, no, I don't. You never, you never told us that. Yeah, I, guys, I'm, I'm in the middle of my thing. I feel like there's an audience watching. You can't be in our show. That's against the rules. What yeah. rules? There's no rules. Yes, there are. There are blinds about a press release. A press release? What? Did you get that from my Instagram? What? That's so fake. When did you have to make that? What did you do? Okay, guys, this is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal. Well, I mean. Yeah, it is. It's Maryland Night Live. I'm still from Maryland, though. Oh, yeah? What part? Waldorf. Oh! oh. Sam said that it was okay, so I didn't want to pull up big guns, but... Uh, I, I did not say that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did. Are you gaslighting me? Sam, I'm sorry, I don't listen to non-fearless ideas. <laughs> souls are bonded for eternity. <laughs> if I leave, he leaves. Make your choice. Yes, they're not perfect. I mean, I don't know. Uh, do we want to have a good guy? I'm the outside, always looking in. <laughs> <laughs> and if you let me stay, I'll take you out for ice cream cake. Oh, yeah. 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 The best kind of cake. I mean, I meant. Here we have Lanny and Bella from Death and Home. 
my major is psychology, and my roommate is a total psycho. Um, I'm not the one who peed on the couch while you were wasted. Anyways, I'm not declared, and school's just like your vibes right now. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Mike and Josh from Paper Town Hall. Are they sharing theories? <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the business school. I'm also straight. I have a girlfriend. Her name's Miranda. She lives on the Russian-Ukrainian border. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm in the business school too, and uh, I, uh, I, I've never been back. <laughs> okay, and finally, from Cambridge Community, we have Samantha and uh, Oleg. Hello, my name is Oleg. I studied to be prison guard. <laughs> Russia. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm an education major. Um, Richard, can you clarify if you'll be allowed for roommates to skin a lamb and smoke it over an open flame in a door? <laughs> As a UMD resident advisor, I am not allowed to help with anything house and flame. <laughs> Alright, let's begin the game. First question, Brooks, when is the right time for lights out in your door? Alright. Lady or answer? 11 p.m. Reasonable, reasonable. Bella, show us your one. Lady is a fat slut with him. <laughs> well, Lady may or may not be a fat slut with her, because you two have to hear from No chance. Alright, Josh, turn your one. Uh, it's midnight. <laughs> Like we have it. 
Ty? Our winners are Laney and Josh. I'm sorry. Our winners are Mikey and Josh and Laney and Bella. So you each will get a dollar twenty-five, and we're gonna have to split those masks up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, no, what are you doing? You're not gonna Jesus. We can share our <laughs> 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 Well, that is it for tonight's game show. Thanks to thank all our contestants for participating. Of the 150 people who came, you six were the only ones who actually answered our team. I'm Richard Denson, and that is our show. <laughs>
is why I am calling upon Republican leadership to support the bipartisan investigation into these attacks, because we cannot go on voting like this. Yes, I'll remind you questions. Yes, yes, you. So you said that Elmo's also been the target of these threats. Has Rocco been eliminated as a suspect? Rocco has been eliminated as a suspect, yes. And I want to be very clear about this. As a representative from a purple district, okay? <laughs> Elmo and Rocco had very different views on a number of key issues, but at the end of the day, they respect each other. Because that's how it's supposed to work in Washington, and that's what we need to get back to. Next question. Yes, yes, you. You mentioned some of the variations of threats. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, yes, I have one here. This one is modeled after uh, Joy to the World, the Christmas Carol. Joy to the world, for Barney's dead. We barbecued his head. What happened to his brain? We smushed it into grain. What happened to his body? We flushed it down the potty. And round and round it goes, and round and you get the picture. It follows that scheme. Next question. Uh, thank you. Uh, reports are saying that Batman has also received death threats? Batman has not uh, received any death threats as such. Uh, Batman has been getting a number of also Christmas-related messages informing him that he smells and that Robin has laid an egg of some sort. Uh, but the FBI has ruled that out as a possible bomb threat euphemism, so we think we're in the clear. Final question, yes. Yes? Do you think that inflation is <laughs> Those orders. I didn't start making them. What? I didn't 
would have passed the test. The test? The macaroni and cheese bite experiment has been used as a relationship to litmus test in this restaurant for years. <laughs> if you fail, you won't last. Oh, you're famous. Whoa. <laughs> the wall? The wall? Yeah, every huge celebrity breakup started right here. <laughs> Finally came to an 
next one's a little bit sadder, a bit of a downer, but um, so just get yourself ready for that one compared to the last one. Okay. <laughs> such commercial products as Honest As Worm to Wormer and Honest As Oops All Gristle line of packaged meats. 
Listen up, animal lovers. I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that paying our livestock ended up making less financial sense than two for the price of one day at the Golden Corral. The good news is, with what we got cooking up in the R&D barn, you won't give a hoot. I enlisted Dale and his buddies after a dang witch cursed me to feel every emotion harder than a prairie dog feels a rock in the ground. I mean, I couldn't even watch Les Mis without tearing up. I think a tough guy like me is gonna cry at some frilly little French play? I mean, come on. I couldn't think of a better retelling of the struggle of justice and gift of love and mercy, the heat and the passion of revolution. Deep breaths, Dale. <laughs> anyway, I divorced that witch, and now I don't get so emotional no more. But that gave me an idea. With the de-empathizer gauntlet, users are completely numb to the emotions of others. Check it out. <laughs> See, the man officiated my wedding, and I could be sipping on a glass of milk while I watch him bleed out. Now watch what happens when I take the gauntlet off. Put the gauntlet on and watch your conscience slip right out. Still not convinced? Take a look at these testimonials. Everything tastes so much better when I don't have to share with my stupid kids at home. I only feed them every other day now. More for me. Look, I don't have time for this. I think I got this kind of cash by caring about the cool guy. I'm talking Boku bucks. Now get the fuck out. These cigars are gonna market themselves to kids. Who needs family? I'm too fast and furious for that shit. Before I found out about Honest Al's, I had severely misunderstood what it takes to rock the president. But uh, after I tried on the gun, I said, yes, we can. Make America great again. Well, you know how it is in politics. Well, I guess that depends on what your definition of is, is. Can you just pick one quote, please? I thought you said I was every president. I said any president. You know what, scrap it. Oh, give me a break, man. Oh, didn't see you there. I really gotta start turning around more. So there you have it, folks. These things are tried and true, so order fast, because the way this planet's headed, you're gonna need one. Bye now. Honest Al's hometown conglomerate is not responsible for damaged relationships, permanent loss of mental faculties, or hand cramps. Do not use the de-empathizer gauntlet while operating heavy machinery or around Wolverines. Please trust cash order to 76 Maple Street, Honest Al's Business City, Calbon, Vietnam.
you know what? That reminds me of another disaster. I ran. Yeah. But you know what would have been better? Minions. Banana. Banana. See? You <laughs> forgot the white phosphorus. Yeah. Oh. Got it. I got it. 9-11-2. Whoa. Oh, my. Yo, 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 yo. What if we killed Osama, but we're real this time? Yeah. Film the moon landing on location. No. Yes. Yes. What if we traffic drugs to Guantanamo Bay and people to Mexico? Whoa. Say, what's Vietnam up to anyway? Anything communist? Always. Yo, I got it. We should steal six trillion dollars from the Pentagon and see what happens. Yo, I, 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 I love it. Oh my god. Hmm. That's I don't know how to say this, but uh, God, this is so hard. I hate to tell you, but uh, King Kong is real. What? Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh my god. I thought that was propaganda. <laughs> oh my god. Where is he? <laughs> Russia has it. I got to my life. King Kong is fighting for the Kremlin. <laughs> Crane doesn't stand a chance. Come on, Gophers, get it together. Remember your training. Some suggestions for requests for me on the team. How's that? All right, how about a, a, a Love Me Do by the Beatles? 
That's a fantastic song that has a tambourine in it. All right, ready, ready? I'm not much of a singer. It's, like, it's just tambourine. And that is a Ringo level percussion right there. Ringo level. Best drummer in the world. Heck yeah. Uh, another one. Oh, I hear another request of Love Me Do by the Beatles. Oh, not the Beatles, Love Me Do. We already did that one. Want You Back by Jackson 5. Whoa, that's a good one. All right. They sound similar. <laughs> but this part. Me back in your heart. That's the important part, right? That's the important part of that stuff. Tambourine's not that hard. Except this stuff, advanced tambourine technique. Check it out, I got it. fingers can do with just a little bit of saliva. It's all about friction management, that's what it's all about. Uh, I, okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I can't flirt. I turned that into a physics lesson partway through. I know I can't flirt. Like, I'm Velma's personality and Shaggy's body. I know that about myself. I know I can't. Like, the haircut doesn't help with that. Like, it's like the default Lego guy here. It's, it's like, like, this is the haircut that everybody in the lobby of a Supercuts has. I go to Supercuts. Uh, I'm doing super. <laughs> I'm doing so super right now, everybody. Uh, and this is the only one they know how to cut. So, uh, and I've seen everybody. Like, 88-year-old bald man, somehow. 22-year-old me. Six-and-a-half-year-old stupid-looking kid. One and five-eighths-year-old um, baby. Uh, does it make sense I'm dividing by four? Like, 88, 22, six and a half. I can save this. I can save this joke. I can save this joke, everybody. I promise. Um, let's hear it. Four dividing by four. That last joke was not funny. Zero laughs divided by four is still zero laughs. I have a math degree. <laughs> Yeah, I like the, t the tambourine. Uh, it gets me out of some, some scraps. I'm surprised they didn't put me as a musical guest, actually, on the show. <laughs> or even the band, like, Danny? Danny, I'm um, drums over here. Give a round of applause for the band, by the way. <laughs> hey, Danny, do you think I, I could be part of the band? <laughs> hey, Dan Danny, do you think it's ever a little inconvenient that your drums aren't attached to your cymbals? perhaps in a circular pattern. <laughs> Danny, do you think maybe that's too many things to carry? You know it's more portable, Danny? Just the tambourine day. That's all you need. I'm joining the band the next song. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tambourine gets me out of some jams, and I've got a tip to get you out of a jam, which is that it is actually legal to drive in front of a fire truck with its siren on if you drive faster than the fire truck. <laughs> Because guess what? You know who doesn't pull in front of a fire truck? The cops! So you're safe! <laughs> in worst case scenario, it's you, fire truck, cops. And that's a parade, baby. <laughs> that's a parade! I love parades! So, see, it's, it's simple, it's simple. I, I like the tambourine. I, sometimes I don't know what to say, and it kind of just lets me do whatever. So, um, like, well, for one instance, I didn't have the tambourine. I was, I was on the train, and a man walked up to me trying to sell me something, so I kind of smiled and looked away. And uh, then he kept talking to me, so I uh, said, no thank you. And then he sat down next to me. And I said the most forceful thing I could say, which was, hey, no thank you. <laughs> that's it, that's all I have. And then I bought the tambourine from him, so I have to use it now. That's, that's why, that's why I have it. So um, that's, uh, that's a little embarrassing, but it is not as embarrassing as this real life encounter I had with a prostitute once, uh, which I was propositioned while I was in my car, street, street and car, and uh, I said, sorry, not tonight. <laughs> which, that's
that's a grandma response? Like, I'm surprised I didn't say, sorry, sweetie, not tonight. And the world was like, what did I mean, not tonight? Like, I'm not going back the next day. Like, I played Pokemon that night and the next night. Like, that's, that's what I did. I know who I am. I, I, who I am, I'm, I'm like a nerdy Christian camp counselor. Like, like Jesus is a rock and he rolls my blues away. Bop, shoot, bop, bop, shoot, bop. That's, that's who I am. Matthew Canal, give it up for your host, your guests, your band, your tech. On the show. Yeah, it is. 
That more detail is on this list would win more than just across campus. Pulling out DEF CON 1 measures. Whoa, do you sure you didn't even initiate those when that police auxiliary kid gave you uh, one ticket for uh, parking at Block 4 a minute before? Huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was child's play compared to this. Taking some of the mail on it's a poison. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, initiating DEF CON 1 measures? <laughs> All right. Tommy will be getting a notification that their package has arrived at UMD, University of Minnesota. <laughs> Seven little orders from South Campus Chicken Tendies. There it is. There it is. Hey, hey, hey. Get yourself something nice. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, maybe you can put some like pride flags in the background or something. Oh, or you can make them wear glitter. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, moving on. How about the actors? What about the actors? Yeah, um, are all of the actors played by real life gays? Uh, queer actors, yes. So then why don't you guess James Corden? Oh, yeah. <laughs> James Corden is a bad actor and not gay. Yeah, that's true. Really? Yeah, this is called a tea on her and she was never the same. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Not with that. Okay, how about, was there something that you wanted to see in the movie but you didn't see? Um, yeah, where was all the voguing? I didn't see a single Vogue magazine, it's still a pretty big oversight. Yeah. Uh, where are the scissors? Don't they do that a lot? No. <laughs> Did you have this event at a, a camp? No, no. We're a library, so you can do the reading? No. Yeah, yeah. Also, I didn't see a single gay council meeting. Like, how else are they supposed to discuss the gay agenda? Yeah, oh. not the gay. I don't know how they can have a meeting, right? Can't gay people, like, not sit or something? Yeah, that's not what I thought. And Lady Gaga performed with those? I don't think she would. Right. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I don't remember that part. No, that's not what I thought. I'm sorry, if you're really telling authentic gay stories, why don't any of the characters have gays? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? You know, gays, the disease that gay people have. Oh, oh my god, god. it's not called gay. That seems like a bit of an oversight. Why can't they ride trains? Well, otherwise, it's a little bit transphobic, don't you think? No, no, they're, they're, they're transphobic. They're transgender people. It's so wrong, I'm already spelling. Okay, no. Little Nas X would not agree. No, stop, 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 stop. Don't you dare break me into this. Was, was there anything you liked about the movie? Anything you liked? Oh, the ladies' sex part was awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's been so long. Fifteen years, Craig. I mean, we've all grown up, why can't you? You can't stay in middle school forever. Oh, but I intend to, Rowley. <laughs> I intend to. How? Souls of the Innocent? Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. Rowley. Join me. No, Rowley, come back. Rowley, you bastard! Go to hell! He doesn't understand. No one does. I'm not going down like this. I'm not ruining my life like Roderick did. To all my fans, I just want to say, I'm sorry, women. I need your help. Greg's out of control. He desires the unnatural. Why should I help you? He's my friend and your brother, and he's got your tingy. terrorist Greg Hefley will stop at nothing, announcing today he will release the viral infection dubbed the Cheese Touch into the city's water supply. Frigley, Patty, we need backup. Frigley, Frigley's dead. Frigley, no! Oh, Greg Hefley, don't make me beat your ass again. Mr. Hefley, is Mrs. Hefley there? Rowley? No. She's dead. Seuss is dead. She was my shooting star. Sue Mom. I always knew I was going to be rich and famous. Not like this, Greg. Not like this. In recent tragic news, Rowley Jefferson has succumbed to the poisoning of the cheese touch. Eat it, Rowley. No! Eat it, Rowley. No, please. Eat the cheese. No. Eat the cheese, Rowley. Manny? 
This ends now, Bobby. Um, I will never get to be a part 
of this beautiful power spectrum of cooter scooters. Now, uh, the most I have is a boozy with a boo. Um, which stands for, for some of you who don't know, like that child, um, it stands for butt pussy. Um, which, guys, why did we have to name it that? Why? Okay, why do we have to compare it to vaginas? It's not the same. It's not. When was the last time you saw a butthole pop out a beautiful life, hmm? Because, I don't know about you guys, but I'll tell you what comes out of mine. Because it's not life. It's shit, shame, and the occasional loose change. Yes, I eat quarters at the fountain. You shove rocks up your pussy bear. Do not come for me. Anyways, the judges are great. You know, they show secrets, they tell stories, they guide you along your quest. Buttholes are called assholes for a reason. They are rude. They are evil. They are the goblins of the human body. Okay? Wanna know why I'm still a virgin besides my milky white complexion and like bony bird body? It's because of the enemy. Let the record show, I attempted to fornicate. I did. I even went through all the rituals. I took Fiber pills, I douched, I starved myself, I pushed Gamora off a cliff, I did it all! <laughs> Yet, when it came time for this hot mama to betray Jesus in all of his glory, Gamalo here is nowhere to be found. Why did God have hibernation on me? Which, like, okay, now am I not only going to not have sex, but now we also have to deal with six more weeks of winter, so I'm sorry, atheist, it's not my fault. And to make matters worse, um, it turns out I was hooking up with the male equivalent of that smart girl from Disney Channel's Animal Farm. Um, <laughs> because he turns to me and he goes, you know, uh, after this complete and utter total failure, he turns to me and he goes, um, interesting fact, wait, uh, the human anus can actually expand to approximately 7.2 inches, but a raccoon only requires 5 inches to burrow. <laughs>
I mean, every turf Tuesday, and practically, oh, this is so ugly, practically laying on the beach, seashells and heavy bush, um, luring those malnourished sailors ashore with the smell of my crab juice and the sound of my song.
I actually haven't watched that one. I hope it has a happy ending, though. <laughs> That's all for tonight. I'm John Touch Myself. Good evening. Happy Tickler. Save me. Oh, 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 
Shout out to my dad. Uh, it's his birthday tomorrow, so I want to close out here with uh, one of his favorites. Uh, so this one goes out to you, Dad, wherever. I don't know where you're your summer here. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm Phil Mallon. And these are your UMP alerts. Reigning Jeopardy champ Amy Schneider was robbed at gunpoint in Oakland last weekend. When asked what happened, she said, You took the contents of my purse for a thousand, Alex. The BMW has unveiled a car that can change color at the touch of a button. They're calling currently this uh, new feature code switching. Samsung recently unveiled a new line of Samsung Galaxy smartphones with the most expensive version clocking in at $1,600. So now you can spend about 2 k and still get left out of group chats. <laughs> Singer Jason Derulo has packed a man at a Las Vegas resort after the man called him Usher. Witnesses confirm Derulo explained what you say before beating him from the window. Academy Award ceremony is set to take place next month. Here to talk about it is four-time Austin nominee Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Willem Dafoe, it's an honor to have you here. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. I'm just happy to be here. Congratulations for Spider-Man No Way Home being nominated for Best Editor. Oh, thank you so much, but I don't think movies are my thing anymore. Oh, no? What's that? I've decided to take up ASMR. <laughs> well, let's hear what you got. Yes, this first one is relaxation ASMR. You'll start eating short breaths. <laughs> Ohio. Oh, 
Well, some of you may be looking for entertainment this weekend. Here today is Entertainment Insider, Courtney Blake. Entertainment business and stuff, so. You really don't know? Let me tell you. Alright, so long story short, I run the place, Lavish Experiences Incorporated, for men and women, LLC, where I bring the club experience to you at your home, your job, or international borders. We out here? Um, that can't be the real name. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you say Q and A. Well, this is an interview, so it's in the Q&A format. But speaking of questions, I got one for you. Um, what kind of lounge experiences are we talking about? All right, so, long story short, say you want to go down to the club and pull the stanky leg on a shiny But You make seven dollars an hour calling police horses, and the only thing in your closet is a dirty Invader Zim hoodie. <laughs> so what our business will do for you is that we will bring the club to you. Understood? Wow, um, um, this right? This was. All right, so, wherever you're at, we will come up with a fold-out table, a disco ball, and Mario Party 7. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you need in order to get shirts. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun, but for a lot of people, dancing is a big part of the club experience. Is, uh, is that something you and your team can facilitate? Yeah, I got you. So, long story short, I have convinced a group of QMD break dancers that they will earn seven credit hours if they follow me around everywhere I go with a boom box. Yeah. Wow, what a creative way to source labor in this economy. <laughs> yeah, and if you slip through the tip, my dancers are prepared to punch you in the head to look at their girl, just like you would in the club. What the? <laughs> Sounds about right. Now, how about alcohol? Our sources say uh, that a lot of people enjoy drinking on a night out. Oh, you best believe it. The police and those have to get turned. We recommend that you stock your cabinet with Kenny Patrol and beef and all that good stuff. Wait, hold up. You expect people to have a fully stocked bar? Shouldn't bring alcohol be a major part of your services? I mean, what do I look like? A caterer? Besides, I should get alcohol right now. Hmm. Well, let me guess. Probation. I'm 17. <laughs> a lot more sense. Did you start this business to get people to buy you beer? All right, so, long story short, my mom and my dad were always very strict with me, this year. But things got even more difficult when I found out last year that they were actually my older siblings. And so I created this business so that I have a place to unwind and express myself. Wow, I wish we had time to really unpack that. It's my party, I'll cry if I want to, though. I think that's great. I think it's actually terrific that you found a way to monetize your personal trauma. <laughs> uh, so last question, how do people contact you for your service? All right, so long story short, my sister mom took my iPhone the other day <laughs> because I was trying to sell fake crypto through Rube's Gate. <laughs> but you can meet me at the Grand Exchange and we can talk deeds because I stole my Chromebook from my homeroom classroom. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure you made up at least half of those words, but thank you so much for coming to take this complaint. Yo, what did I say about referring to me by way of the name to which I was born? Big dancers, get out of here! Thank you, about time to show up. Blame Sir, everyone. Tuesday, the Biden administration temporarily banned Mexican avocados from entering the country on grounds of a security threat. President Trump rejoiced before being told that avocados are not a slur for Mexicans. <laughs> the Russian President Vladimir Putin pretended to fall asleep as the Ukrainian Olympics team walked during their opening ceremonies. He went on to pretend to win the Russian presidential election. <laughs> 
Amazon workers in Alabama say they're torn over historic union vote. This marks the second time people in Alabama haven't wanted to join the union. An album made entirely of endangered bird calls beat Taylor Swift on a top 50 chart. Longtime bird fans are already claiming to have liked them before they blew up, calling the bird sellouts and the record massively overrated. <laughs> Common pre marriage practice is for a bachelor or bachelorette to hire a stripper for the wedding, but recently some couples have been questioning the ethics of this practice. Mm. Here to comment is Barnaby, the insecure stripper. Yeah. Hi, Barnaby. How are you? Hey guys, th th thanks for having me on the show. You didn't have to. You didn't want to. Uh, no problem, Beth. <laughs> So, what do you think about having strippers out here, bachelor or bachelorette work? Yeah, yeah, well, it uh, keeps me in business, but, um, I don't know, sometimes I don't feel like I even belong on such a street. What do you mean? Well, I'm, uh, I'm uncomfortable with my body. I, I know I seem like a total hot rod, but, I don't know, stripping just makes me nervous. I quit if it didn't pay so well. Hey, there's nothing to be nervous about. I'm sure you got moves. Yeah. Who wants to see a little tease from Barnaby? Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I shouldn't do this shot. Uh, I think I have to. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. Damn it! <laughs> How are you wearing even more clothes underneath? Yeah, man, you don't have to show skin if you don't want to, but right? uh, maybe this just isn't the right line of work for you. No, please, just, just give me another chance. I swear, I, I can put on a good show. I can put on Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's exactly it. That's right on the line. You know what? You want to see me nude? Maybe. Yeah. Let's see me nude. Yeah, it's all coming down. Say hello to my little Barney D. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. has taken a bit of a detour. Please move to the center of the car. Oh, uh, thank you. Step back, door's closing. Oh, me? Uh, I'm Cameron. You can call me Cameron. 
This is a red line train. And I'll call you Red. For short. But he's about to get off on a new stop.
Thank you.